Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss identities of square roots and numericals based on these identities. Let's get into details. Students, let us list out some of the identities which are useful to solve many numericals. As you are very much familiar with these identities, let us try to derive the identities from the examples. The first example is square root of 3 into 5 is equals to square root of 3 into square root of 5. I hope that you will be able to recollect one of the identity that is square root of a into b is equals to square root of a into square root of b, right? Let us look into the second example which is given as square root of 2 by 7 is equals to square root of 2 divided by square root of 7. From this we can write identity like this, right students? Square root of a by b is equals to square root of a divided by square root of b. Let us look into the third one. Is this in the form of a plus b into a minus b? Students, yes it is. So right, let's write the identity like this. Square root of a plus square root of b into square root of a minus square root of b. As you know that this is equals to square root of a square minus square root of b square. Here we can cancel out square and square root. Here also we can cancel out square and square root. So the resulting identity is a minus b. Based on this identity, the solution for this example is it's square root of 5 square minus square root of 3 square where we can cancel out square and square root, right? So the resulting number is 2. Let us look into some more identities. Students, let us list out some more identities. When you look into this, it is in the form of a plus root b into a minus root b, right? So, this is equals to a square minus root b whole square based on the identity of a plus b into a minus b. Cancelling out square and square root, so it is a square minus b. So, for this particular example, it is 7 square minus root 5 whole square cancel out square and square root it's going to be 49 minus 5 that is equals to 44 right so let's look into the next identity which is in the form of root a plus root b into root c plus root d let's follow the multiplication process that is multiplying root a with root c plus root d plus root b into root c plus root d once you multiply that, it's going to be square root of a into c plus square root of a into d plus square root of b into c plus square root of b into d. So from this example, we can say that in place of a, we have 2 and in place of b, it is 3 and in place of c, 5 and d is equals to 6. Once we substitute the values, it's going to be a into c, that is 2 into 5, it's 10 plus a into d 2 into 6 it's 12 plus b into c that is 3 into 5 it's 15 plus square root of b into d is 3 into 6 it's 18. So from this example we can write this identity. Students let us discuss one more identity which is in the form of a plus b whole square right but in place of a and b here we have root a and root b. Right? So, it is root a plus root b whole square. Right? As you know that a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square. Let us write in place of a and b root a and root b. So, it is going to be root a square plus 2 into square root of a into b plus root b whole square. So, cancel out square and square root and here also square and square root. So, the resulting identity is a plus 2 into square root of a b plus b. So, based on this identity, the value for this example is 3 square root 3 square that is 3 plus 2 into square root of 3 into 5 it is 15 plus square root of 5 square that is nothing but 5. So, let us solve NCRT questions based on these identities. Students, let us solve the following questions based on identities which we have discussed. The first question is 2 plus root 3 whole square 
I hope that you will be able to remember one of the identity which is in the form of a plus root b whole square, right? Let us write the identity first that is a plus root b whole square that is equals to a square plus root b whole square plus 2 into a into root b. So this is equals to a square is a, a square is a square plus root b whole square we can cancel out square and square root it's b plus 2a root b. Let us substitute the values from the question here a is equals to 2 and root b is equals to root 3 right. So let's write the values that is 2 square plus it's nothing but 3 root 3 square is 3 plus 2 into 2 into root 3 this is equals to 4 plus 3 plus 4 root 3 or we can write it as 4 plus 3 7 plus 4 root 3. So let's look into the second question which is in the form of 3 plus root 3 into 2 plus root 2. This is in the form of a plus root b into c plus root d right. So what's the identity for this which is nothing but a multiplied with c plus root d plus root b into c plus root d. Let's write the identity first that is a into c a c plus a into root d plus c into root b plus under root of b into d. So let us substitute the values a is equals to 3 root b is equals to root 3 c is equals to 2 root d is equals to root 2. Let's write the values a into c that is 3 into 2 plus a into that is 3 into root d is nothing but root 2 plus c into 2 into root b is root 3 plus under root of b into d that is 3 into 2 it is 6. So that is equals to 6 plus 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 plus root 6. So this we cannot simplify further as these are different terms. Let's look into the third question root 5 minus root 2 into root 5 plus root 2. This is in the form of a plus b into a minus b right. So in place of a and b we have root 5 and root 2. Let's write the identity first that is root a minus root b into root a plus root b that is equals to root a square minus root b square. Cancel out square root and square and here also square and square root. So it's going to be a minus b. Let's apply this to this example that is root 5 minus root 2 into root 5 plus root 2 that is equals to as we know that root 5 square minus root 2 square. We can cancel out square and square root right square and square root. So it's 5 minus 2 that is equals to 3. Let us solve some more questions based on these identities. Students, let us discuss some more questions based on identities. These are from NCRT exemplar. The first one is square root of 45 minus 3 into square root of 20 plus 4 root 5. If you observe the last term, it is square root of 5, 4 into square root of 5. If we represent other two numbers in terms of square root of 5, it is possible to simplify further. Let us do that. As we know that square root of 45, we can write it as 9 into 5, right? Minus 3 into square root of 20, we can write it as 4 into 5 plus 4 root 5. Students, you might be wondering why to represent square root of 45 in terms of 9 into 5, even though we have factors like 15 into 3, right? The answer for this question is, if you represent number in terms of a perfect square, it is possible to simplify further. As we know that 15 is not a perfect square, so that's the reason I am considering 9. And even for 20 also, even though we have factors like 10 into 2, but 10 and 2 are not perfect squares, so I am representing in terms of 4 and 5 as 4 is a perfect square. 
So let's simplify further by using identities that is square root of 9 into square root of 5 minus 3 into square root of 4 into square root of 5 plus 4 root 5. This is equals to as we know that square root of 9 is nothing but 3 into root 5 minus 3 into square root of 4 is 2 into root 5 plus 4 root 5. This is equals to 3 root 5 minus 6 root 5 plus 4 root 5. If you observe this, all these are in terms of square root of 5. So, it is possible to simplify by adding and subtracting. So, 3 root 5 plus 4 root 5, it is 7 root 5 minus 6 root 5. That is equals to root 5. So, this is the simplified form of the given question. Let us look into the second question. Students, the second question is square root of 24 by 8 plus square root of 54 by 9. In order to simplify further, let us try to represent square root of numbers in terms of perfect squares. So, square root of 24, we can write it as 6 into 4 as 4 is a perfect square divided by 8 plus square root of 54, we can write it as 6 into 9 divided by 9. This is equals to, from identities, this we can write it as square root of 6 into square root of 4 divided by 8 plus square root of 6 into square root of 9 divided by 9. This is equals to square root of 6 into square root of 4 is nothing but 2 divided by 8 plus square root of 6 into square root of 9 is 3 divided by 9. Let us cancel out 2 and 8, it is 4 and here also it is 3. As these two are like terms, so let us take LCM to simplify further. So here LCM of 4 and 3 is 12, 4 multiplied with 3 is 12, so 3 into root 6, 3 root 6 plus 3 into 4, that is 4 root 6 that is equals to 7 root 6 divided by 12. This is a simplified solution. Let us look into the third question. Students, here is the third one. 3 root 3 minus 2 root 27 plus 7 by root 3. If you observe the question, in first and last terms we have square root of 3. So, let us represent square root of 27 in terms of square root of 3 so that it will be possible to simplify further. So, let us try to do that 3 root 3 minus 2 into 27 as you know that we can write it as 9 into 3 right plus 7 by root 3. So, this is equals to 3 root 3 minus from identities this we can write it as square root of 9 into square root of 3 plus 7 by root 3. This is equals to 3 root 3 minus square root of 9 is nothing but 3. So, 2 into 3, it is 6 root 3 plus 7 by root 3. If you observe this, all these are in terms of square root of 3. So, it is possible to simplify further. So, first subtract these two. It is 3 minus 6 minus 3 root 3 plus 7 by root 3. In order to simplify these two terms, let us take LCM between these two. As you know that the LCM is square root of 3. So, 1 multiplied with root 3. So, that means we have to multiply minus 3 root 3 with root 3. Right students? Plus 7. This is equals to minus 3 into its root 3 square plus 7 whole divided by root 3. Here we can cancel out square and square root, right? So, it is minus 3 into 3, it is minus 9 plus 7 by root 3. That is equals to minus 2 by root 3. This is the simplified form. Students, in next session, we will discuss rationalizing the denominator. Please feel free to shoot your questions or doubts in comment section. Thank you for listening and have a great day.